Hello Aquarius and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess. Some cards just came out for you, they flipped out. We've got the Page of Swords and the Knight of Swords. Here we are, Action Stations. Well, wow, there's a lot happening, um, perhaps some news that comes in that precipitates some very fast, quick change. Busy, busy, busy. Lots of ideas formulating, news coming through. Uh, so I feel like there's a lot going on inside your mind uh, and you could be thinking about studying or learning a new skill for some of you with this page of swords coming through. So, my goodness, what's going on here? We, oh, you're going to be feeling pretty happy with it, this Nine of Cups coming through with it. And at the base, the Knight of Pentacles. So we are looking at, I'm just going to hold these all up. They all came out super fast, which kind of doesn't make, uh, doesn't, it's not surprising considering we've got the fastest card in the deck, the Knight of Swords. You know, this is things happening super fast. Uh, so some... So things are lining up really quickly. So it might be some good news coming through. Absolutely. Good news. Things happen quickly. Things line up. Fulfillment, happiness. Uh, the Knight of Pentacles is really about, I'll talk about that in a sec, but it is about stepping into feeling more hopeful for the future and really looking long term and things, that's actually things slowing down. So we've got fast, 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 something happens really fast. But what that activate, that very quick change and those things that you're kind of coming in here, uh, the reason why there's a fulfillment is because it feels like it can. It can be something that can sustain you for a long time. It can be that change can just quite literally be enough to make you feel a lot better about your future, about your security, about feeling that something's grounding down. So, yeah, it actually is a very, very lovely energy to come through. So the Page of Swords can also be that someone's uh, kind of watching you or thinking about you as well so and this might be you thinking about somebody else but either way which is going to make you happy <laughs> but either way you know it might be that whatever this information that comes to you from the page of swords it activates this very fast quick action which uh like i said brings this uh wonderful fulfillment and happiness coming through so and then you know once it's uh, this could be you going telling somebody or somebody telling you that they love you or they want to work with you or uh you know it can be something really nice like that it doesn't have to necessarily or this can be you deciding i'm going to go and study or i'm going to go and do an online course whatever it is or it could just be sorting something out very quickly you know here's some good news uh but either way with this knight of pentacles energy it's actually really good energy because this is an energy of feeling like I've got something now. I've got something now that I can bring into the future and I'm happy with the shape of it. I'm happy with how it's looking. I'm happy with where it's going. So we're thinking long-term plans, long-term future. So I feel like it's actually a very, very strong positive shift that occurs here. But yes, it does require action and some quick thinking, <laughs> maybe some making some decisions very quickly. But uh, oh, we have, let's see. Through prayer and meditation, I create a ripple effect of peace in the world. Wow. Okay. <laughs> That's really interesting. I love that card. Look at the beautiful ripple coming through there. So, yeah, and that's what I'm saying. This I do get a ripple effect. Like there's something that happens really quickly and it has this ripple effect. Uh, so it doesn't have to necessarily be through prayer and meditation I'm getting, but for some of you it could be that you could be getting these um, quite significant insights uh, and it could be just something you haven't thought before or seen or something new that you're learning. It definitely is happening inside your mind that's coming in here. And it's in your element, Aquarius. It's in the element of air. So it's going to feel like uh, it's going to feel good. It says, I love life. This is the affirmation card. It is my birthright to live fully and freely, to give to life exactly what I want life to give to me. I am glad to be alive. I love life. So fantastic. Beautiful energy coming through, Aquarius. Let's, oh, we have, gosh, the cards are really popping out for you today. They're like, oh, we need to talk to Aquarius. We have the vulture and the rabbit. Interesting. Really interesting, these combination of cards. Uh, vulture is element of air. Rabbit is an earth energy. Vultures eat the carcasses of dead rabbits. Um, so this is kind of why it's interesting because there's a connection between these two energies. But it's something that the vultures are really interesting because it's about there's this karmic energy of a karmic cleanse or 
things that cleaning up some stuff, you know, they, they clean up the bones of the dead uh, and they serve a purpose. Some people hate vultures, but they do serve a purpose in the ecology of the world. And uh, so there is something that needs to be cleaned up and cleared out here. And it does tend to have with the vulture a karmic element. So it could be related to past lives or something that happened in the past. Uh, and it's it's dead. It's ready to go. It's ready to go back into the earth to be let go of. So uh, that could be part of what this action is. And the rabbit is kind of interesting because part of what I think you're letting go of is fear related to this for some of you, because the rabbit is a very kind of fearful energy in this particular deck. It's like, oh, it's on constantly on the lookout for predators and right next to it is a huge predator. And so it's kind of looking at this sense of uh, the story of this rabbit is it's sort of that self-fulfilling prophecy, looking at where you're thinking things and where that's creating the reality because you've thought something was going to happen and it's kind of inadvertently made it happen. Um, so the story of the rabbit, it's constantly going, oh, there's a lion, there's a whatever animal might eat it. And um, the others are like, there's no lion, you're constantly in fear, you're constantly scared something's going to happen. And then because he's constantly yelling, there's a lion. Of course, a lion hears it and goes, oh, well, there's a delicious rabbit. I'm going to eat it. So it is this sense of a self-fulfilling pro prophecy coming in here. So uh, that's where I think that there's this page of swords is it stopping some kind of uh, cycle that's occurring here. Uh, and that's actually going to be really positive. It brings a lot of fulfillment and happiness. So yeah, it's... Um, part of this, part of this new way of thinking or stopping this. Um, so it is actually going to bring a lot more happiness coming through there with this. So So it's kind of saying with the vulture interestingly being like the element of air is that the only thing that is to fear is something that you've kind of created inside your mind uh, because I'm not seeing anything here to be scared of. And it says open your heart to love in the Ascended Masters. So, yeah, I mean, if this is related to opening up your heart on a bigger level to, to a situation or a person, uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, there is nothing to fear is what it's saying, which is actually really nice. So let's pull a charm for Aquarius. What do we have? Ah, oh, beautiful. We've got the Pegasus. Lovely. I love the little Pegasus. It flies close to the sun. Its horses are all around the direction that you're going. You've got two horses here with the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles. You know, so three horses now coming in. So it's really looking at some changes and direct change in direction with something. And this Pegasus is, uh, you know, bringing you back to you, the sun representing your true authentic self. So it's time for you to fly up and out of an energy that perhaps was of a lower vibration, like connected to fear and to be able to see things from this higher perspective and take some big strides related to that. And, uh, yeah, it, it feels like there's this lovely liberation that comes in with this Pegasus energy of just flying high and being not even, not even a great big stride, like a huge, you know, it's like, amazing. So your time to really ascend and really just be in your element, I would say, because the Pegasus is also the element of air. So I love it. So it really is fantastic energy coming through for you, Aquarius. Um, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you would like to uh, support the channel, let YouTube know that you appreciate this content, please like, subscribe, share, leave a comment and take care Aquarius. I'll see you next week.